Bonjour tout le monde. Um, this is part two of that jewelry jar from CHKD. I don't normally like doing videos in two parts, but that other one was so long, I knew that I would have to break it up. Um, I'm not even going to roll an intro like my normal intro. We're just going to get right into it. Here we go. All right, y'all. I got everything undone. Let's finish it up. <laughs> um, we're going to go pretty fast because I've got everything separated. I've got earrings paired and we are good to go as far as just, you know, throwing things in here and there. So this stack of earrings right here is just some basic black hoops. There's a lot of damage, a lot of, you know, wear off the, the coating or the paint. So they're going into craft. Um, these hoops, they're going to go into craft. Also, there is a whole lot of wear on them. Okay. Um, these are marked, these right here are marked Coro. It's going to be hard for me to show you guys, but it is right there on the earring back and they're, um, clip-ons. So those are keepers. Keeping the Coro. Okay. Um, let me set this box up here. All right. These, like, maybe like they're a brass. I don't know. I might, what I might do is take them, lot them with these, like, coppery looking ones. And with these other kind of brassy, coppery looking ones. And, and sell those together. So, I'm putting them in the maybe while I consider that option. Going in the maybe bucket. I really like these. I like the colors. They're not marked anything. I'll Google Lens them. I think they're unique enough that if they are something, something will pop up in Google Lens. So I'm going to put them in the yes. Now, if I go to Google Lens them and something or nothing comes up, I'll make a decision then. Um, these, just some regular old hoops. I do believe they're magnetic. Um, so I'm not even going to test them for silver. Hold on just a minute. Yes, they're super magnetic. So I'm probably honestly going to keep these. I will probably keep these for myself and wear them. Um, I like, there are times that I just want to put on a little pair of silver, silver tone hoops. And yeah, that's probably what I'll do. These are kind of cool. I like these. I have a pair almost like them. There is some wear to them. I'm going to put them in the maybe. Um, I really liked, why, why are you stuck in there? I really like these. I don't know. They remind me of a pair of Vans. They're kind of wavy. They're pretty heavy. I'm not sure why they're so heavy. Um, But they do look, you know, they look bad on this side. They're going in the maybe. Um, you know, if I clean them up and they look good, great. Same with these. I do like them. I like the fact that they're wavy and they've got, sorry about the knock. They're, they're striped like that, but they look terrible back here. They're going in the maybe. We'll see what happens. And all of those pattern ones, look, I'm showing the next pattern set. Again, if I clean them up, I might lot them together and sell them as a set um, or as a lot. To me, they remind me of the, the 80s punk days. That was the stuff we wore. These are gorgeous. Look at these. That's like a, a bisque, um, which is, a, don't quote me on this. I'm probably wrong. To me, a bisque is like a softer, a little sturdier type of almost like porcelain or china. So look how pretty those are. I just think they're gorgeous. I don't think they're marked at all, but these are a yes, just because they are so gorgeous. Um, These, too much wear on these. And look, look, look. Oh, I remember why. Do you see this? Y'all know what this is right here on the back of this? 
It's about an 800 year old eraser. Do you remember when you wore earrings that and you lost the back? You just take a pencil eraser off and put it on there. They're going in the no. <laughs> these are um, going into craft. There's just not, nothing to these. They're, you know, this is plastic. It, it's just, nah. All right. These are very sweet. These little flowers are so sweet. Um, They're going in the maybe, though. They're just not special enough to me for me to definitively say oh yes I'm gonna sell these um same with these I was trying to see if they were marked I don't think they are I think they're peeling off these are pretty yeah no you know what these are going into craft they're very plasticky cheap feeling these are gorgeous with this rose quartz they're crudely done um, but I might still be able to sell them. Um, so I'm going to put them in the yes. I might change my mind later. All right. These, there's not enough to them for me to want to sell them. They're going into craft. I love not earrings. I don't know why. I don't even wear not earrings. But to me, these are just so classic, so preppy. I love knot earrings. Now, these are not silver. Um, they're very, very magnetic. But I will probably try to clean them up and sell them. And I might put them in a lot with some other studs. All right. I love these. One of them needs an ear wire. But let's look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love these. So I'm going to probably fix these and either sell them or keep them and wear them. I love them. Okay. So this one needs an ear wire. It's missing the ear wire. Not a hard fix for me. These are so pretty. All right. So do you see what we got? These are like screaming J. Crew. They're not marked anything. But best I can tell, all the jewelry is there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Never mind. This just came loose. So these are going into craft. That little seed bead just came loose. So craft they go. Not exciting enough, craft. Not exciting enough, craft. <laughs> um, I thought about lotting these together they're very, both very 80s. So if I can, you know, get these black ones cleaned up well, I may put these together. These are like a metal with enamel on them. These look like a burnt potato chip. Um, but I'll put them in the maybe. They're going into maybe. These, not exciting enough to sell. They're very lightweight. I will probably keep them and wear them. Always, always just needing a quick pair of black earrings. All right, let's pull these over. Mm -mm -mm. Um, not really exciting enough to sell. I'll probably put those in my collection just to have. Not exciting enough to sell. Is this going to sound like a broken record? Um, hold on. Oh gosh, my magnet was over here with all the safety pins, all the magnetic stuff and everything sticking to it. Okay, it is magnetic. Um, Yeah, they're just not igniting, exciting enough to sell. I don't even know if those are real stones. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in my keep pile. These are interesting. Rose gold, little triangles. Hold on like that. I'm going to put them in maybe because I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Same with these. Actually, I kind of like these. These are kind of like my style. Hold on. Let me try to get it undone. Oh, boogers. I dropped one. All right. These really are kind of my style of earrings, so I will probably keep those. 
These are really old. <laughs> really old. I feel, I don't know if they are something or not. Maybe I'll lot them with those other like coppery, brassy looking ones. Um, these are wood. Um, and it's like painted. I don't know. I think I'm just going to put those in craft. All of these. So this one is missing the um, screw back, but I have it. I have it to be able to put on there. They're all marked Japan. So there's yellow ones, pink ones, like a green and a robin's egg blue. I am going to sell these as a lot of screw backs. I'll get, I'll fix this one. And then I'll sell those as a lot. Okay. These are so sweet. I think though, yeah. I think they're each missing a little, a little, little bob thing. So that's unfortunate. Um, were they marked? I don't think they were marked. So it'll be okay. I'm gonna throw them in craft. These are like faux amber. They're really pretty. Um, I don't know if they're special enough to sell, like if they would sell or if they would just sit forever. So I'm gonna put them in the maybe box. These I really like, they're really my style. But look, this, this one, this whole side is missing all the little dangles. But they're so pretty. Like these are, these chandelier types are my style. So that's going into craft. I love this bead. I think this goes, would that go on like a Pandora style bracelet? Cause it's got that wide hole. I don't know if you guys can see how big that hole is. There it is. And it's like a faceted crystal Mickey Mouse. I don't know what to do with him, but I like it. And if I thought that it would fit on a Pandora, if my buddy Brighton wants it, it's going to him. <laughs> it's going to him if he wants it. All right, this is, this is pretty. The chain is in knots. It's got, I think somebody like tried a real quick hack on <laughs> knotting it way up here to try to shorten it. I do like it. I am going to put it in the maybe. Um, It's not, you know, it's not anything that'll wow you, but I'll stick it in the maybe and we'll see what happens. This is, um, it says believe and it is time and true and that's, it's a no. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with time and true. My time is better spent elsewhere. This, I don't know. It says Peter and Wendy J.M. Barry. Is that from Peter Pan? I'm assuming it is. I'll put it in the maybe. I don't know what else to do with it. Um, these, I think, hang on. Let me pull one off. So you've got these yellow are these gold hoops with yellow beads on the bottom. I don't know. They're just, it's not, I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? So I put them in craft. I'm just not feeling it. These are kind of just blah. They're not exciting. They are just, you know, some um, shells dangling. It's kind of my style. I put it with my stuff. Um, no, nothing, no nothing for this. I didn't like check it for, to see if it was magnetic or anything. It is ever so slightly magnetic. I don't know, I don't even know what it's to. You have to unlock it and open it up. So I don't even know what this does. And I don't know if I should be checking it for something else. So, ugh, hate it when I don't know. Um, never found a match to that. All right. Um, 
So the Mickey goes over here too. We'll see if Brighton wants that. All right. There was, a, remember that tangle of necklaces? There was one huge casualty in all of that. And it was a flowery necklace. Uh, guys, I'm sorry to say I cut it apart. I had to cut it apart because it had all of these chains up here were tangled in it 40 ways to you know where. And I was just like, I can't, I cannot. So, yep, I cut it apart. <laughs> um, this is pretty. I will probably try to sell that. And I don't know if I showed that in part one. All right, chains. We've got chains, chains, we've got chains. All right, um, hang on just a minute. I thought I had these two apart. What did I do? I may not have, but I might have, but who knows? You just never know with me, do you? All right, well. So we just have a couple of, couple of basic chains here. I'll um, keep these around in case there's a pendant that I want to put on one of them. Let me see if this says something. I do see something. Hold tight. Hold the phone. As Dad used to say, hold the phone, y'all. Okay. I don't want that side. Check this side. I see an eight. Does that mean anything to anybody? I see an eight. Eight. K G. Really? Is there such thing as eight or eighteen? Would maybe there was a one in front of it at some point in front of this? If that's gold, it sure is like dull. Um, hey, you know what? Can it hurt to test it? No, can't hurt to test it. Uh, I don't feel like getting those apart right now, but we'll stick this over. All right, over here's my test pile. Um, what was this? This was nothing, but I think it could have gone with this. Um, I don't know if this was a double thing because this is marked. Well, that says 925 on that side. And on the other side, it's marked Stella and Dot. And I don't know if this went with it. So it's a Stella and Dot that's marked 925 on the tag. Plus it has this little guy right here. And I don't know if that somehow if it was somehow a double strand i don't know so that needs more research um i found this little silver piece now a lot of times what i do if i see something like that you see this um oval piece right here and i'll look very closely at that to see if there's a mark and there is a mark on this so let me let me check it out really quick I know I see something, but woo, my eyes. I cannot read today. I see 925. So I'm building a little pile of scrap silver. Um, uh, scrap like silver, gold pieces and things like that. I keep them in my grandmother's china teacups. <laughs> The ones that she got in literally in Japan and they were shipped over. Um, and then, you know, when I feel like I have enough to send out for scrap, that's my plan. Have I ever done it before? No, but I'm going to try it. All right. All of this over here. Let me try to swirl you guys up here. All of that earrings with no matches. Okay. All of this right here, down in this corner, earring backs that I found. And I think like one of those screw backs is back there that goes with that one earring from Japan. Look how gorgeous that is. We're gonna test that for silver. I just think that's beautiful. These are marked silver. We're gonna test those. 
This is not magnetic. I don't have both of them, but it, this one's not. I don't know why I stuck these over here. I think I was wondering if I should test these, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just kind of stuck them here. Hold on. Well, we might test them for silver. They are not magnetic. So we might test these. Um, this is marked silver, so we'll test it. Uh, this we're going to test. I don't think that was magnetic. And you guys, oh, we'll, we'll save that one for last. This Avon pin, I'm going to look to see if I can find this other little pearl. This one is not glued in. I did find one of, one of the faux pearls. So I'm going to look for the other one. This is a little Avon pin. So it's sitting gently. I'm going to dig very carefully through, see if I can get the two pearls glued back in and um, and fix this so that it can be sold. Avon is so sweet. These are just pieces, they're going into craft. This I wish I had had, the other piece too, I would have kept this one. This is an earring that is like a fold up earring and it would have, oh, like the stud in your ear and then this dangled down. I really like that, that's going into craft. This guy is so cool. I love this pendant, if that's what it's supposed to be. It's like an Egyptian thing, almost like King Tut or some type of pharaoh. Ah, I dropped it. Hang on, because I think this was the one that had initials on it. I can't remember. There's, I've looked at so much stuff. No, it did not, but I just, I like it so much. But I will put it in craft since it doesn't match anything. This has initials. I'm gonna read them out to you, show them to you and read them out. And then maybe somebody can tell me in the bottom. It says TH and then under it, it says N. For some reason, I'm thinking that meant Avon, but I don't know. That's a broken piece of something. None of these three little cherubs I don't think any of those were magnetic. Those are these three little guys. I don't think any of those were magnetic, so I do wanna test those. So gosh, we've got some testing to do. Good thing I bought new testing acid, but let's look at this beauty. Now listen, I have not done anything except for look at this. Look at this necklace, fold over clasp, all elephants. Do y'all see it? Let me see if I can. I'm going to really move stuff here. All right, cherubs. Where are all the cherubs? They need to stay together. All right, look at these little elephants. How sweet are those? It's not marked anything. But on the back of the elephant, it says 925 on the back of every single elephant. So we are going to test this. I have not tested it yet. So we're just going to test a few things and see what happens. Mm. Um, do that. That's that earring. Let's just test the random pieces right now. Mm. I cannot hold this. So that earring and let's test one of these guys that are marked silver all right we got three things to test this is very brassy looking. Oh, let me pull it up so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, 
this is really kind of coppery brassy looking um that is the bottom of that earring so i am not expecting to see it turn blue All right, let's see where we got blue, y'all. Oh, yep, okay. So, let's take a look. Do you see all the way on the end? That is what we're looking for. So, these... Mm -mm -mm. These earrings are definitely silver. Okay, so probably silver and CZs. And they are gorgeous. Okay, that's a good find. I only have, did I have both of these? I do have both of these. Um, they are not silver. And for me, not interesting enough. So they're going into craft. All right, we got a couple more. Um, this one was nothing, and I only, oh, this one was nothing, and I only have one of them, so it's going into craft. Okay, i uh, got a couple more single things to test. We're going to test this. And then let's test part of the chain or the clasp. Okay, there's that. Let's test the Cameo earring. That's coming out, okay. Oh yeah, copper's coming through as I rub that, so that's almost a given that, that it's not gonna be silver when you see that much copper on the earring itself. Um, and this one was marked silver. Just this little piece of chain. Okay. Do I have enough? <laughs> I'm still using this one little thing. Okay, I ran out. But... <laughs> You can definitely see that this is silver. Okay, so probably silver and amethyst. That's a good find. That's a nice find. Um, It's interesting. This one looks like it wants to glow, like maybe I didn't scratch it hard enough. Do you see that? And I didn't have enough for over here, so let me grab another bottle. <laughs> I thought I was going to make it look. Can we tilt it? <laughs> and it's, yes, we tilted it. And it's glowing. And I thought that piece of chain. So, I kind of probably need to try this one again. Um, I wonder if I, if I tried to polish it and then do it. Because it acts like it wants to. So... But either way, it would go into scrap. So we can scrap that. I don't think I tested this yet. Okay. Okay. And which thing was I looking at? That I said, it said something like 8 kg or something. Now I can't, now I can't remember. Oh, it was the Stella and Dot. Would that be weird? I thought they were just like fashion. Oh, let me grab my scissors and open this up. Let's see if we got it. Yeah, we got it. All right. Let's give it a little shaky shake. All right. If it said 18K, then when I go to squirt this on it, it shouldn't change color, dissolve, nothing. 
but we're gonna test this earring and the elephant necklace, okay? There's that, let's check the elephants. We'll check the clasp and one of the elephants. That was the clasp. And just for fun, I'm gonna check this cameo one more time. There's the cameo itself. Let's check the ear wire. All right. Okay, so let me put this back in order. We've got these first two lines are this earring. These two lines over here are the cameo again, and the middle two lines are the elephant necklace, okay? So the cameo is now glowing. The elephant bracelet, I'm having a hard time with seeing. It looked like the clasp dissolved, but maybe the elephant part is not dissolving. I think I need a better scratch. I think I need a better scratch. All right. And then this earring, I'm gonna say is a no. So it's going into craft, okay. try this elephant one one more time and then we'll try that Stella and Dot and see what happens. I'll make sure this is good and dry. All right, so this one did come up silver. It's going into scrap of silver. All right, clasp. Clasp, elephant. All right, the clasp dissolved immediately. So the clasp is not sterling. I'm not getting the blue, blue glow, but it's also not dissolving. It's kind of trying to glow. Hmm. I don't know what to do in this case because it doesn't glow as much as the others, but I'm inclined to think they're silver. I'm, I'm airing on silver, okay. Now this is the Stella and Dot that has the 925 on it. Wait there was still something. Where is that? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Stella and Dot had the 925 on it, which I think is weird for this copper color. But looking at the scratch, I'm inclined to believe that it might be right. And then this is the chain thing, the mess. I think this is the mess that had the 18 or the 8K something Let's try it and see what happens. All 
right. I don't know if I scratched it good enough, but it was very bendy. All right, the Stella and Dot is definitely silver. That's interesting. That chain is nothing because it, it, it did dissolve like 100%. Well, I won't say that. Maybe I need to work down to see what doesn't dissolve. Okay, I think. I think that's how that works. It's just this elephant one is like making me just a little bit crazy. All right, I scratched one more elephant. Let me scratch that part. All right, you guys, we're testing the elephants again. I want it, I think I want it to be silver too bad. <laughs> oh, I, was, I need to do the cherubs too, don't I? Yeah, they're just, I don't think they're silver. It's not doing anything, but I don't think they're silver. They just don't have that glow. They act like they wanna glow. That's the thing. Like there's flex in it. Um, I'm feeling silver. Okay, let's do these cherubs really quick because I know this has been a long, crazy video. One. Two. Three. middle cherub might be this cherub is not the middle cherub is this cherub acts like it wants to be I think it is yes All right, you guys, whoo, that was a lot. That was a lot. So, um, let's see, I said the middle cherub and that cherub, I may put those in scrap too. Um, this one, I'll probably need to test more. So we do have some sterling, which is great. So these are sterling, well, let me see if I'm putting this in the right place, we got scrap. These are sterling, this is sterling, which is wonderful. This Stella and Dot, I need to do more research on, but it is sterling also. I will probably still try to sell this elephant necklace. Um, it's a sellable piece, whether it's testing correctly or not. I think it's still a sellable piece. It's a beautiful piece. All right, um, let me see. Dun, dun. I was trying to get those earrings to stand up. Let's see some other pieces that I put away that I am excited about. Um, there's not a lot, you guys. I am, I've got to be honest with you. There just isn't a lot. I love these earrings. Absolutely love those earrings. Um, this bracelet, I loved. I think this bracelet is gorgeous. 
to find, oh, are these, all right, I think these are Coro. Those are Coro. And I know there's another pair of Coro in here. Um, I really liked this pin. Where's the other Coro earrings? I know they're in here. Here they are. Here's the other pair of Coro. I really loved these 80s earrings. And y'all know how much I loved these goofy ones. I don't know why, but I did. I loved these. So we got some, some interesting pieces, not all name brand stuff. I loved this necklace. I love this big orange statement necklace. Let me stick those on top. So yeah, we had we had some pieces that were, you know, that are sellable. Not a lot. Not a lot. So oh, and I love this little seahorse. I thought he was so cute. That little seahorse pin. Um, but. There are sellable pieces. I hope. I, I can't honestly say right now if I'll make my money back. Will I get $40 back? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, That remains to be seen on this. So what I'll have to do is take like careful inventory and maybe, you know, figure out if I can do a report. Um you know, later on, because this is it, y'all. This is, this is all that I am definitely listing is what you see in there. Um, the maybe pile, that's the maybe pile. I also, all the loose beads, I stuck them in here. I know that bowl looks terrible. It's been through the ringer. That's why I'm using it for this. Um, so what I might do is, is put all the beads together and just sell a big bead lot. So, options 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 but you know you would definitely like to know that you had two to three pieces that would make your money back and then everything else would be profit i can't definitely say on this but that's part of the thing of buying a mystery bag or a jewelry jar there is some mystery to it you're not guaranteed anything and if you know that going in you know you understand that so Thank you for watching. If you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Um, and if uh, you haven't already subscribed, I would love to add to my subscriber base. I'm around 520 something right now. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by December. So I put out two videos a week, one every Saturday, one every Wednesday. I do obviously mystery unboxings of all kinds, jewelry, clothes, shoes, you name it, um, randomness. Um, I do thrift hauls and I do what sold videos. So if any of that interests you, that's the life of a reseller. I would love it if you subscribe. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.